What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing another vintage collection unboxing. I just picked up this guy today. I'm super excited to open him on up. But before we get to the unboxing, you guys know the deal. Make sure and hit the like and subscribe button here on YouTube. And while you're out there, check out my socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore photography walker i use his platforms to take photographs of all of the figures that i unbox here on youtube thank you guys for showing me a lot of love and support here recently the views and all are stacking up i really appreciate it thank you guys to the subscribers now let's get to the unboxing and here we have it ladies and gentlemen a really unexpected find today was tebow the ewok from return of the jedi you guys probably know him from getting shocked by uh um r2d2 but uh yeah just a nice little ewok find here today on a vintage collection return of the jedi card wonderful wonderful artwork on the card there of tebow the ewok there we are we're in focus finally so yeah just a wonderful, wonderful card there, like we expect from the Vintage Collection. No damage whatsoever. Wonderful card. Let's go ahead and flip it over. I have a few of these on the back here. The Emperor, as uh, you guys have probably watched, I hope. Uh, IG-11 and Lando. So now we're going to add the Ewok Tebow to the uh, unboxing list here. So let's go ahead and... Just get him opened up here. I'm super excited about this. Where I live, kind of close to the woods. I've been kind of hoping that I was going to find um, an Ewok or something of the likes that uh, dwell in woodland areas. So, definitely good for my uh, photography and such. Wow, he's really on there. I'm ripping the card all up. That's okay. Oh, two layers here. Got a, uh, a bunch of stuff with this guy. He had uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then a bunch here behind. Looks like some kind of a, uh, a bandolier or a, a quiver for arrows, maybe. And um, some kind of a, uh, not a different helmet. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this down. And check out exactly what we have here. So I'm going to just say this is some kind of a quiver uh, for arrows, even though I don't see a bow and arrow. So yeah, quiver with no bow and arrow. <laughs> kind of uh, uh, funny. Maybe these uh, these other things can fit in there. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm just missing the bow altogether. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? So his little uh, helmet here, or spare helmet, I guess. What they would call a helmet. It's very soft. So it's almost, uh, almost has a flashy feel. So I guess it's kind of like, uh, supposed to be like an animal. An animal hide or whatever. It looks like some kind of a boar, wild boar. It very much feels uh, flashy. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh! And the uh, little feather there just kind of fell off, but just snaps right back into the side there. There we go. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Or maybe this is for his knife. Maybe his little knife goes in there. We're going to have to see. Very primitive weaponry here with the uh, with the Ewoks, stone stones and sticks, sticks and stones, stones and sticks. Nobody says it like that. Nice little stone knife there. Very nice detail. The uh, handle is wrapped. It looks very nice. You can see the individual wraps and stuff on the, on the handle there. That's pretty cool. We seem to have some kind of a, a necklace here. Made of teeth, as native people do. 
using every bit of the the animal and stuff for clothing and jewelry and weaponry and tools very native aspect to them I guess that was the that was the whole purpose some clubs here very primitive clubs I guess the handles made it out of wood some kind of a stone or something up on the top there or spears I guess those things are with some kind of a stone spearhead and this is the club with the stone wrapped up in it very nice very nice so uh, you can really see the uh, the wrapping as you could the uh, the handle on the knife very nice club can't believe all of the uh, um, accessories which I mean I guess that you would expect some accessories with a something like an Ewok. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and awaken Tebow from his slumber. And that kind of pops on. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like a, a smaller one. This goes down all over his head and yeah. Getting focused there. So I guess you can take this off. And just put kind of a smaller kind of a hat on there. So yeah, we got Tebow out of his slumber here. A little bit of information about Tebow. He was the uh, the Bright Tree Tribe's best hunter. That's what the uh, the tribes were called in Return of the Jedi that we've seen. The Ewoks and all that kind of stuff who helped the rebels defeat the Empire on the Battle of Endor, very key, and uh, uh, Tebow survived the Battle of Endor and uh, actually became the uh, uh, tribe's uh, shaman at the time of the uh, uh, First Order, or by the time that the First Order started taking over, he was the tribe's shaman. So yeah, survived the Battle of Endor and wound up the tribe's shaman later on. So. Seems he was uh, a very good tribe member. Looks like he's got a little horn there. Do, 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 do. You guys remember that uh, um, the horn blast on Return of the Jedi? Do, 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 do. When they all answered each other, that was really, really cool, a really touching moment. Let's go ahead and uh, um, slip this uh, hood off and expose his. Oh! Well, there goes Tebow's head. Poor Tebow. All right, now that we got Tebow's head back in order there, that was a, kind of a funny pop-up there. I never uh, expected him to look like this under the uh, um, under the hat there. But he's really cute looking in the face. Look at that. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get this other, uh, his other hat or war helmet you got to kind of slip it around his ears there but yeah it kind of goes on like that I kind of like that a little better the um, the other one doesn't really look that well with the neck piece if it, if it was cloth at the next piece neck piece was cloth maybe it would look a little better but I think this looks a little more accurate I mean even though on the card over there you know, he did, as you can see, he's got some coming down around his neck. But I actually like this look a lot better. Let's go ahead and get some accessories in old Tebow's hands here. And here we have Tebow all decked out and ready for Battle of Endor, taking down the Empire and such. Um, I'm not, I, I can't really place what these things are. Like, I'm, the, the more I look at them, they look like drumsticks. Almost uh, drop drop me a comment if you guys really know what they are a spear uh, I'm not really sure I mean, uh, there's two of them So I'm gonna say drumsticks because I, like I do I do remember uh, the beating of the uh, The drum and such and I'm not sure if it, if it was Tebow who was beating the drum or not um, Need to refresh that uh, That deep knowledge, but uh, but anyway, there's uh here's Tebow all decked out and ready to go Go ahead and take it out of his hand just in case if it is a drumstick definitely not running the battle with that so I went ahead and slung the um, 
the uh, what I thought was a quiver um, around his side there and uh, it does hold his knife and it holds it very very well and it's very very snug so it's not just gonna you know fall out it's actually in there pretty well and uh, yeah I'm sure it could could hold some arrows if you were to custom make some I'm not really sure that the vintage collection has any arrows but uh, yeah it looks great holding that uh, that club there and I went ahead and switched the other uh, hat on just for giggles but yeah Tebow looks great I'm really 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 pleased with this figure and definitely all of the accessories that he came with and there we have it ladies and gentlemen the Ewok Tebow unboxed and ready to be photographed I'm super excited about this one take him out into the wild and get him into the jungle great great accessories a great figure wonderful articulation as you seen me uh, moving around in there earlier and uh, I can't emphasize enough how great the, all of these accessories are this really makes the figure a bargain with all these different fun accessories just to play around with. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys mean so much to me. Liking and commenting on my videos really means a lot. Thank you for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe on this video in particular. Go ahead back and watch my other unboxing videos. I really enjoy doing them. Like and subscribe on my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Thank you guys for watching, and may the Force be with you.